the teachers and technicians were drawn from 174 senior high schools across the country. Beneficiary schools were zoned into cluster of regions, with the latest batch being the Ashanti and Western North regions. The program started early uh, this month on zonal basis and presently we have trained more than 500 teachers including technicians. If we talk about the uh, collusion and the momentum and elastic and those kind of um, physics parts, we've been teaching for some time but demonstrating has been a problem. Van de Graaf generator, the transformer, um, we can also mention the repro tank and others. In fact, they are very, very important in our teaching and learning. It makes teaching and learning very easy. In fact, teaching without this becomes teaching in abstract way. A total of 242 participants are expected to train other colleagues who could not be part of the exercise. It is part of efforts by the Ministry of Education to move away from the abstract teaching of science subjects to pure practical where students have a feel of the equipment. As you have seen, the teachers are really enjoying what they are doing because they are seeing and making science fun. Now, with the presence of these supplied equipment, certain concepts in science, that is physics, chemistry, biology, to them has become so easier. I must agree that it's a very nice and interesting thing because for some time now, like myself, I've been teaching physics, but there are some of these things that are not at our disposal. And it makes the physics teaching to be, let's say, um, theoretical. Well, my name is Paul Atakra, and I'm the author of Atake Physics book, so the, I'm popularly called Atake. And I've been teaching physics for 34 years. As I speak to you, I am on pension. But you see, uh, what I've experienced taking these my colleague teachers through is the fact that uh, I, I realize the gap. The gap of teaching without equipment and the gap teaching with equipment. And I, can, I have experienced something from the way they ask their questions that they appear to know. You see, they seem to know. You see, when science is like that, you cannot teach in with your imagination, more or less. The Ministry of Education has procured all the relevant apparatus for physics, chemistry and biology laboratories to ensure practical demonstration by students. Most of the participants who spoke to Joy News were excited about the teaching as it will change the face of science education in their schools. In fact, once a time, I was teaching waves. I have to take the children along a riverside near Tepa. Near Tepa. And unfortunately for us, one of them uh, was a... Uh, got a bite from a snake or other animals. In fact, I have to take them there to put a stone inside the river to see these water rivers and then drop a leaf there to show them that the leaf is bumping up and down without going out, telling them that the particles are moving perpendicular, that is a transverse wave. But today, the ripple tank you see behind me here is very safe. And when we use it in teaching waves, that it is very easy for the student to observe whatever concept we want to put across. I personally, I did chemistry, I did uh, at, at the university, I didn't even see some of the equipments. And my physics teachers can attest to it that these equipments are going to help us. Not only that, when you go to even my field, that is even the chemistry, there are some experiments that we normally perform them in the, we talk about them in the theory. We didn't have the equipment to support us, but now we have them. So we are saying that we are most grateful to the government, we are most grateful to the Minister of Education, we are most grateful to the GES, that is Ghana Education Service. And we promise and assure them that our teachers we have selected for the training. This is trainer training. Trainer training means that we are training them, they will go back and also train the other teachers. And we are assuring that we put them into good use. A report by Mohamed Nuruddin.